Hi and welcome to a new series I will be doing. Um, this time, I won't be just listing off one recipe I found online. This is actually coming from a cookbook that my aunt compiled of all my grandma's recipes. And there are a lot in this thing, as you can see by all the post-it notes there. But I will be going through and doing every single recipe in here. But for the time being... I'm going to do for you today something off of this page. And if you're unfamiliar with what the language is on this page, this is called cursive. And it can be difficult to read, but I'm here to translate for you. And here's what the recipe is to make something called Dog Team Tavern Oatmeal Pie Maple. Now, I think the wording on that's wrong in the recipe, but I'm going off of what's on the paper here. So, if it's incorrect, that's not me to judge. I'm just here to recite what I see. Let us begin. You need three eggs, beaten. Two cups of dark maple syrup. Two-thirds cup quick oats. Two-third cup shredded coconut. Again, only the finest main Vermont ingredients here. Three tablespoons melted butter, one tablespoon vanilla. Now you can probably find all the vanilla right next to that Vermont coconut tree. You'll need one half cup of walnut pieces and one nine inch unbaked pie shell. Now after the ingredients are done, here is how you make it. Step one, mix everything. Step two, get a cookie sheet and line that thing with aluminum foil. You're definitely gonna wanna do that, this thing gets messy and you don't want this on the inside of your oven it's going to get all burny and smelly next step which i think is three i've already lost count pour the mixture into the pie shell next step put it into your oven that should be set and ready to go to bake at 325 degrees you want to let that cook for 45 minutes so after 45 minutes your pie should be done take it out and let it cool for a while before you uh cut open to it and have a piece of it. So after letting it cool for a while, I gave it a taste. And I gotta say, it's pretty goddamn sweet. Although, not as sickeningly sweet as I thought it was gonna be. Um, maybe let it sit a little bit longer so the oats can soak up that ma all the liquid. But I think I maybe let it sit for 30 minutes. You can probably go hour, two hours longer. That's gonna do it for this installment of grandma's cookbook um stay tuned for the next one and let me tell you this thing runs the gamut i've looked at this thing many times and there's a couple of things i may have missed at one point but some of the recipes include things that don't exist anymore um those infamous uh gelatin molds one of them i am not looking forward to but this thing goes everywhere, and I'm hoping to do every single thing in here. So thank you again. Go out and make this yourself. Have a good one.